Matthew Blincorn, thanks for joining us. But uh, first of all, congratulations on the new role as uh, head of coaching at the academy. It must be a great achievement for yourself. Yeah, it is. Um, it's something that I've been looking to try and do over the last couple of years on, on my coaching journey. So to be able to have the opportunity to be head of coaching here at Fleetwood Town at a forward thinking progressive football club, I'm really excited to hopefully be able to push push our players on. How did it come about this move? Because obviously you're the youth development phase coach. And how did it come about for you? Um, obviously the, the, jo the job came up, um, I was used to be a phase league coach as you said um, and, and I saw it as the next step on, on my journey to, to wherever that may take me um, and, and it's an opportunity I felt like I couldn't turn down to go for so I applied for it and thankfully um, I was given the position. Well, there's no better place to really kind of coach or, or be in that position really at Poolville Farm when you've got the facilities that they have an offer here? No, the, you know the chairman's backed the club massively over the last 10, 15 years I think it is now and they've had a lot of promotions in that in that short space of time. He's made this amazing training facility. Um, now it's time to start embedding the culture and the values and trying to produce players of our own from the foul coast. And that's ultimately what my job, along with the rest of the academy, is going to be. I guess your role is obviously looking at the players, but it's also looking at how coaches can obviously coach their players better, really. Because we've seen the likes of James Hill get through, the likes of the three Irish lads, Dylan Boyle, uh, yeah. Barry Bagley, and and uh, Carl Johnson coming through, it's about getting that next player through, isn't it? Whether it's from the under nines starting to the under 16s, under 18s, it's kind of a, it's a bit of a pathway for you, really. Yeah, it? absolutely. And I think we've obviously the investment from the chairman, the first team manager, have been playing the players, so there's a clear pathway there. Now, my job now as head of coaching is to, to get the coaches better, try and improve the, the coaching programme with Category 3, we're looking to go Category 2 over the next 12 to 18 months. Um, so it's how can we progress that on and our players have to progress with that as well. So that's my role to help the coaches but ultimately it's making the players better and helping develop our players from, from this local area. You had kind of a, an exciting first three or four days uh, when you got the job. You went to the Netherlands at Ajax uh, to watch the, the three Irish lads play. I guess that was a good experience to see what's on offer outside of, well, inside Europe and what you can maybe bring into Fleetwood. Absolutely. You know, Ajax is a, is a massive football club steeped in, in history and tradition. Um, Fleetwood, in terms of the academy, we've only been we're four years old, so Ajax has been going a long, long time. They produce players on a regular basis, so I saw it as an opportunity to be able to go over there. Very lucky to be able to do that. Um, and I spent three days over there looking at their foundation phase, their youth development phase, and obviously the professional development phase, and seeing little things that we may be able to implement here at Fleetwood um, that they do at Ajax. Um, they obviously spend 50 million euros a year um, on their training facility. We don't quite spend that, I don't think, um, but some little things that I've took away from it, we can hopefully help develop our own players. How important is it that you're not just kind of staying in England to get find new ideas, it's about going outside maybe the comfort zone into Europe because we see how many good players they produce. It's maybe like I said, getting some ideas, maybe it's small or, or big ideas to go forward to, to take this academy to the next level. Yeah, it's, it's massive, isn't it? Even, even I'm going to look at different sports, what can we take from different sports to implement into into our programme that might make our players better movers or, or technically better or psychologically a little bit better. So there's all, all those sort of areas that, that, that I want to look at, but we're a forward-thinking football club, we're innovative, we want, to, we want to progress, we want to move forward and taking little bits from the best will help us, but ultimately we're, we're Fleetwood Town and we want to, we want to create our own uh, programme uh, and push forward with that. I know you're going to be this job uh, kind of a week or two now, but how would you assess the academy this season? Um, I think we're progressing. Obviously, ultimately, it's how many professionals that you can get through into into the first team. Um, throughout the nines to sixteens, you look at your retention rates, but ultimately, we need to create better players if we're going to move forward as a football club. Because there's no point having an academy if we don't get players through from nines into the twenty threes all the way into the first team. That's that's our job, um, and that's obviously what we're going to look to do over the next. 5, 10, 15 years hopefully. I guess kind of your, your job may probably starts in the summer really, regroup for, for the new season, whether it's bringing players in, new coaches, new staff, just to again progress on what the club have done this year with the amount of young players that have been given first team opportunities. Yeah, it, is, and it, it goes down to the foundation phase really and you're looking at what are we doing with, with those kids to try and make them learn but ultimately have fun because football is about having fun and that every kid's dream is to be a professional footballer and we want to make those dreams a reality. Um, like I say, with the facilities that we've got here, it will help us. Um, but it's also, we've got to link our, to our community trust and what programmes they, they deliver. Can we help within that in the multi-sports or getting the kids more active in the local area to hopefully further down the line get more players in, into our academy from, from this local area.